Welcome to Health Bulletin. Across the globe, we've tracked the emergence of mysterious illnesses, unusual health phenomena, and groundbreaking medical discoveries. But guess what? There's so much more to explore, and we don't want you to miss a single update. Last week, Taiwan reported two rare COVID-19 related deaths in children aged 12 and under, marking the end of a 10-month period without such heart-wrenching fatalities. This news has raised concerns about the impact of the virus on younger populations. It was confirmed by the CDC on Tuesday, shaking the nation's previously steady record in the ongoing battle against the pandemic. First case was of a just one-year-old girl from the North, who, despite having no pre-existing health conditions and not being vaccinated, succumbed to COVID-19 three weeks after being hospitalized with convulsions in early February. Her battle ended tragically with complications from acute encephalitis linked to the virus. This is a stark reminder of the pandemic's unpredictable nature. And another shocking case, a six-year-old girl from central Taiwan, also fell victim to the virus, as shared by CDC physician Dr. Liu during a press conference. Before we move forward, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and join our Health Bulletin community. Why? Because subscribing not only supports the channel, but ensures you're always in the loop with the latest health trends, news, and tips that matter to you. Plus, it's completely free. The girls sought medical treatment after developing symptoms, such as fever, coughing, and shortness of breath in late February, according to Health Ministry. However, her condition deteriorated upon returning home, and she suffered sudden cardiac arrest and succumbed to COVID-19 complicated by pneumonia, even though the hospital had been unaware she had contracted COVID-19 when they sent her home. The Taiwan CDC recommended parents have their children vaccinated against the virus, adding that the current available XBB shots could also protect them against fast-changing COVID-19 subvariants such as JN1. According to the CDC, 70 individuals died of COVID-19 in the week 27 Feb 4 March, which is eight cases lower than the week before. Most people infected with the virus will experience mild to moderate respiratory illness and recover without requiring special treatment. However, some will become seriously ill and require medical attention, especially older people and those with underlying medical conditions like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, chronic respiratory disease, or cancer are more likely to develop serious illness. Anyone can get sick with COVID-19 and become seriously ill or die at any age. It is crucial for everyone to come together to combat the spread of the virus and protect those who are most vulnerable. Thank you for watching this important update. Your health, our mission. Remember, staying informed is the first step towards a healthier life. So what are you waiting for? Hit that like and subscribe button and let's make health a priority together. See you in the next video.